Hi everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video guys, this is an idea from my auntie because she asked me a question and then I was like, oh, I should make a video about this since every one of you are asking me and since every one of you saw my video last time about the international student here in Australia and I just want to share with you guys what's next after student visa but before that guys make sure you hit that subscribe button give this a thumbs up and turn on your post notification bell to get notified every time I post a video okay guys let's start so what I applied right now is a graduate visa what is a graduate visa so graduate visa is a visa that allows international students who have completed their studies here to work and live in Australia with full working rights. And of course, you also need some requirements. So what are the requirements for a graduate visa? So some of the requirements, you should be under 50 years of age, of course, and must completed two years study here in Australia and also you need to apply for your skill assessment which is the TRA with Trades Recognition Australia so for the TRA this one it should be for example I finish cookery so for this one I am applying for the skill assessment for a chef because I did this by myself, I did the TRA by myself, so for this one, they asked me a copy of my passport, a copy of my pay slips, I think at least the 8 months pay slip that I have that indicates there that I am working as a cook or a kitchen hand and also asked me to provide a letter from my manager that I am doing this kind of thing as a chef and inside the kitchen and something like that because here if you really want to study a chef or if you really want to be a chef it has to be all connected guys so make sure guys whatever you're studying right now is you're working inside that field so for this one guys you need to be successful for this one for you to continue processing your graduate visa and of course the last six months you should have completed one or two qualifications any qualification and of course english test so me i did a pte test and for this one for pte test the minimum score you should get is at least 50 points overall and 36 points minimum on each component and for IELTS you should have at least 6 points and 5 points each minimum on each component and of course health insurance so as you all know I did have my health insurance when I was still on student visa and before my student visa expires I applied for my another health insurance and that will be a health visitor insurance and I'm not under the student insurance anymore so everything's gonna level up when you finish your student visa of course you also need a medical examination that's one of the requirements for you to process your visa application okay guys what did i provide to my agent for me to process the graduate visa so of course my passport national police check and all my certificate from my school of course and also my diploma from school of course you're gonna be needing that as well letter that i did the work placement and that's one of the requirements because the immigration will require you to give that to them so right now guys i'm gonna answer some questions of my subscriber who commented and who messaged me on my social media accounts for how long are you still gonna stay there? So graduate visa, it lasts up to two years. Is there any chances of having PR with your points? So this is a good question. About permanent residency or the PR, 
yes there is chance because here in Australia there are they have a pointing system those people who asked me I told them to like have a look on the internet like any courses pathway for permanent residency and my course as a chef is one of those that pointing system is from the immigration the minimum points i should get is 65. So if you want to apply for permanent residency they're gonna base it on the pointing system depends on what course you get what did you study so it depends on what is your minimum points and after you gain those points you can apply for residency but before you apply for residency you have to make sure that you finish with your graduate visa and you have this good qualification and you have at least the minimum points for your for the pointing system or you really need to be sponsored well it depends if someone wants to sponsor you then you're lucky but you can also continue with the pointing system. It's not necessary to have a sponsor. As long as you're enjoying what you're doing, you can just continue. And if someone wants to sponsor you, then you're lucky enough to have a pathway for your residency. Do you have to be good in English? Well, here guys, most of the international students are from everywhere, let's say. Korea, Japan, India, um, Turkey, Slovakia, Czech Republic, everyone is just here. I think Australia is one of the most multicultured country in the whole world because once I got here, all, I, all nationalities that I see is just from everywhere everywhere i can tell you guys it's from everywhere all the all the cultures i think of the nationalities are here you don't have to be really good in english but you must understand english even though a little bit as long as you can communicate they won't like they won't criticize you for not having a good english here in Australia, sometimes people will help you they will correct you so in school you don't really have to be good in english because the teachers are also from internationals i have a thai teacher i have english teacher i have an australian teacher teachers as well will help you to understand like if you say oh i don't understand this teacher we're well, gonna explain it to you you don't really need to be good in english all you have to do is just understand so make sure like you can understand some of the english and you can say some of the english what should i do to work more than 40 hours as i stated there on my student life on my international student life here in australia for you to have more than 40 hours a week, you have to be on school holiday or a school break. What's the life when you first got there in Australia? I, I got here July, so it's still kind of winter season and it's really, really cold. I'm just enjoying it because in the Philippines, we don't have winter season. So when I got here, I was enjoying it. It was so cold and yeah, so I started like going around being familiar with everything and like how to how to catch the bus how to like know the trains all the apps i review everything and then of course i also learn how to go to my school like what to, what bus should i take what train should i take to go to my school so when i first got here in australia my first week i didn't do anything so all i did was view all my notes learn how to get to school learn this learn that the buses and then like i just experienced like going out on the parks exploring my neighborhood and yeah guys and then after a week that's when i started applying for jobs so i just passed my resume everywhere i was walking everywhere walking on the streets asking if they are looking for some employee and just passing my resume and then after 12 days guys i got a phone call from my boss and saying hey are you available to do this one and i can say it's really easy to find a job here in sydney i think here in sydney 
they are more looking for employees than people who are looking for the job yes so i can say like i didn't have a hard time looking for jobs in here and life is just easy and life is just so wonderful and the answer to my question i know i know i know i did a lot of stories but her question was like what's the life when you first got here in australia so i would say it's just an easy life and it's a relaxed life and it's just a chill life like you don't have to pressure yourself like this and that give yourself time a break give yourself time to adjust since you're here in a new country so just relax don't rush things because you can get you can you will get there in time there you go guys i hope i give you some information and i answer some of your questions right and disclaimer guys these are all from my personal experience if you have more questions for me guys just comment down below and i'm gonna answer those questions or just message me and i'm gonna answer those questions so yeah guys i hope you're gonna have a nice day today and oh guys i'm gonna have a very very interesting video coming up i think i'm gonna upload it on thursday or friday so make sure you stay tuned because this is gonna be a very interesting video and i'm very and i'm very very excited to share with you guys and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe see you all in my next video bye